Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to week eight of my 25 game FBS college football journey. So Friday, I went to bed around 545 in the afternoon right after work, woke up around 11.50 p.m., ate, took a shower, made sure I was ready to go, you know, after about an hour. And so I left around, you know, around one in the morning and started to drive towards Starkville, Mississippi. I went on 40 for about an hour and a half. Uh, then I, you know, took some back roads like 641, which connected to Tennessee 22, then to 64, then to 45, um, then in Mississippi, like 82, which took me into Starkville. So I'm going to tell you, there was definitely a lot of back roads and I didn't see too many gas stations. Once I got off of 40, I didn't see a gas station for about an hour and a half uh, at one point of my trip. So... Another interesting, crazy thing that happened while I was on the road, a coyote ended up running right out in front of me at 4.15 in the morning. I mean, I had just passed into the Mississippi border, and fortunately I did not hit him, but it was definitely a close call. So anyway, I got to Starkville around 7 a.m. Saturday morning, found free parking on the street along where the Gondolier restaurant was. There was like a Stark Vegas mural on it. So oddly enough, I was looking for a place to go to the bathroom. Saw the Marriott in Starkville was right by. So I ended up walking in there. Saw LSU buses around the Marriott uh, where I guess they were technically staying there. So fortunately, I was able to, to get in there and go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, wash my face. I had a long day coming up. So... Um, I saw tons of LSU fans in there, you know, eating breakfast, getting ready for the game. Took my time walking to the area. Um, SEC Nation was taking place that day. So I got to that area around 745. Definitely a great scene for SEC Nation. The fans were hyped. They had their cowbells. You know, it was definitely a good time. So after SEC Nation went by, um, I went to the tailgates joined one tailgate in particular and they were super friendly fed me well they were extremely nice people um, so i went to the dog walk and it was definitely a fun thing to see tons of fans uh cowbells all over the place you know i went walking to more tailgates after that you know sort of towards around campus and game was at 2 30 but Went in about 1.45, see him warm up. So I saw about 40 minutes of the warm ups. Then I went to my seat for the game. While I was interviewing a Mississippi State fan, uh, Joe Brady actually ran into me. Him and the LSU coaching staff accidentally ran into me trying to get to the press box. Fortunately, both of us were all right. They were in a hurry to get to the press box. So the game was uh, close first half. Both teams were excited. Mississippi State played inspired football. Uh, second half, different story. Um, and I moved down to the lower level around that time frame. So it definitely, uh, it, was, it was a fun game though. So LSU took care of business though, second half. So um, I ended up leaving for Tuscaloosa. After the game, um, that game started at 8 p.m. So, you know, I had about three hours to get over there. Um, maybe, maybe two hours, 30 minutes. I don't know. So it was definitely a close call. But uh, so I, you know, took the back road over there to it's about an hour and a half to get from Mississippi State to Tuscaloosa. And uh, there were some parts that was like 25 to 35 minutes um, where it was like 25 speed limit. So that was that was kind of tough. But uh, finally made it to Tuscaloosa and uh, somehow I was able to avoid almost all the traffic. I guess I got there so late. Um, I parked at a family friend's house for free and began to run to the stadium. So along the way, I met an Alabama fan who had suggested I could save some some time by taking the shuttle. I knew I could take the shuttle, but I didn't know exactly uh, from where I was at. Um, I didn't want to chance it, but uh, since he knew exactly where to go, you know, I figured 
all right, I'll follow him. I was just going to go right to the stadium, but, um, yeah, um, definitely was glad that I got on that shuttle. It definitely saved me a lot of time. So, you know, I got off the shuttle and, um, walked to the stadium. So you have to have the right gate that you're going to, to be able to get into the game. Um, I kind of forgot that. <laughs> uh, so I, you know, once I was like in line, I, I sort of realized that I heard people talking about the gate and I was like, oh yeah, I need to find the gate. So I went around, got to the right gate. Um, you know, it was just, I was in a hurry. So, you know, I wasn't really able to <laughs> really, uh, think too, um, too well at that point. I was just like trying to get in the game. So, um, the line moved quicker than anticipated. I walked up the ramp to get to the upper level, sprinted some, finally was able to make it to the top level to, um, to see the uh, LED light show. It was the new LED lights that they had. They were flashing. They turned the stadium red. It was awesome. So um, I was able to see it, and uh, I was very fortunate. So finally, the game started. I just walked around on the ramp watching from various locations. I was really hungry. Uh, so second quarter, I had to get some Dreamland barbecue nachos, and it was amazing. But uh, the line took about 20 minutes, so... I had to watch about eight minutes of the second quarter from the concession stand on that TV. Uh, I needed food badly at this point. So especially since I didn't take any breaks from, you know, Mississippi State to Alabama and I didn't have any time to get any food. So anyway, uh, Tennessee kept the game kind of close and uh, they were actually on the one yard line and Guarantano fumbled trying to do a quarterback sneak himself. Trayvon Diggs picked it up and ran 99 yards for the scoop and score, and uh, Bama ended up winning the game. Uh, so I talked to some Bama fans after the game, and I didn't get to my car until around 12.30. Then I got on the road, hit a ton of traffic on I-20 around 1.30 in the morning. I made quite a few stops and um, starting to get a little tired, but um, I got into, you know... Middle Tennessee, around somewhere 8.30, 9 in the morning. So, yeah, I took a lot of stops. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. I decided to stop off at Chapel Hill, Tennessee. Never been there. And, um, yeah, it was a cool little town. So, anyway, yeah. So when I got back, though, I was uh, a little tired, but... Two SEC games in one Saturday. It was a lot of fun. So definitely a trip I'll never forget. And, um, you know, being able to see SEC Nation, LSU, Mississippi State, get to see the tailgating scene there. And then Alabama, Tennessee, you know, um, it was a lot of fun. So thank you for tuning in. And um, I'll tell you about week nine sometime soon.